we're gonna rotate this again. Um, you know, another problem I find is that the uh, tracker was good, but it wasn't perfect. You can tell that there's something wrong. So I'm also gonna bring up the position. Now, if you click P, you see it changes to position. But I want the rotation and the position up. So I'm just gonna close everything. Click R for rotation. Now shift and click P. That brings up position at the same time it brings up rotation. Now I'm gonna keyframe the position right here. And as it's going, I feel like it moves too much. So I'm going to move it over a bit. Uh, maybe line these two keyframes up just for continuity. Um, and I think that's better. That's just it's just a little better. Um, go to this keyframe. Maybe move it a bit again. But uh, you get the idea. The more time you put into it, the better it will come out. Um, but for right now, that looks pretty decent. Looks okay, decent. So um. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, so there it is, a spore in a jar. But um, we can even go farther. You see how this, there's glass and there's indent on this. There's an M and an A and an S, and you know it says something Atlantis or something. Um, this glass is has ridges and isn't perfect. Now this kind of looks like it's in the glass, but it almost looks as if the glass would be perfect. The glass is completely smooth. There's no abnormality, abnormalities, or whatever, however you say it. Um, well, let's change that. Let's make it look like it's actually really inside this glass. The best way so far I've th saw, thought of doing that is just going down to Distort and going down to Displacement Map. Now, what this does, this effect, is pretty simple. It kind of places, displaces the image based off of the colors. Um, of a layer. Now right now it's displacing its own layer, the spore. We don't want to do that. We want to go up to layer and we want to click the video layer because the video layer is one with this glassy type of texture on it. Now if we just move this in one direction we can see it distorts the spore pretty easily. Like that's like whoa super distortion. We don't want that. But um, we do want it to be distorted just a bit. So I'm gonna move it just a bit that way and maybe a bit this way not a lot just a little because when you click play it kind of looks like the, the the glass on the outside is displacing the spore which is inside when in reality it's just an effect we put on the spore um, and you can see how this is looking pretty rad um, I may turn it down just a bit because it seems a little strong to me um, and you can do whatever you want, but right there, that looks pretty good. I mean, just, you can see just some abnormalities in the, uh, way that this is done. Um, now, now that we have this, uh, let's do a little bit more, because we can. Go to Project, and I have these particle elements. Now you can get these from videocopilot.net. These are free stock footage effects that Andrew Kramer not only posted up here or posted up there for uh, you know downloadable content but he also showed you how to make these on your own if you want to. So check them out. Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't get these. These are some great particle effects. Right now I only have imported particles 1 and particles 8. And um, before in my original, I used particles one, but you know, let's use particles eight. See what happens. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this down to into my composition under my camera. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it. I'm just going to rotate it sideways, maybe. Um, it's being a little slow right now because it hates me. But yeah, ah, there it is. We're going to rotate it, drag it onto the uh, jar. Just get it lined up a bit. If you need to see it, you want to look at the opacity. Um, so press T, which is the shortcut for opacity. Um, I don't know why, but as a great man said, maybe, you know, the T, opacity, T, opacity, I don't know. But I'm just going to bring it down a bit so I can center it better, the opacity. Um, so I can just place it where I want it. 
Um, then bring the opacity back up. Now let's solo the particles by clicking this little box here again. Now what I want to do, is I want to kind of just drag the clip forward and backwards until I find an interesting place. Now this is an interesting place for it to start. Um, let's go to the effects, color correction, curves. Um, curves is amazing, and you're going to want to use it a lot. So, we have here RGB, which means red, green, and blue. It's just everything. It pretty much means if I bring this up, it gets lighter. If I bring it down, it gets darker. Um, for right now, let's leave it. Let's click this RGB thing, and let's go to the green channel. I want to bump the green up. Um, maybe add a contrast curve to the green layer, which is uh, one of these. Just, just a little bit, and see how it kind of brings us out. Let's go back to RGB and maybe just lower, lower the entire, make it just a bit darker. Um, that'd be good. And so, also if you click this checkerboard thing, we can see that the layer is still there. Um, and we have this. It's pretty nice right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unsolo this layer. And we want the particles only to be shown. Well, a simple way to do this is because we've really we've really defined the bright places and the dark places, go back to mode again and go to make the mode maybe lighten. Oh, wait, sorry, we are on the null object. Let's not be on the null, null, null object. In fact, let's hide the null object for now because we don't need to see it. We are now at the particles. And let's go to lighten. I don't really like Lighten. Lighten is good, but let's go to Screen. I think Screen screen and Add is the best if you want to do something like this. Um, I think I really want this to be bright and powerful, so I'm just going to make it Add. Um, now let's center it again. Alright, now we're going to click this tool. This is the Pin tool. Um, just click it, and what this does is if you click a point, you have one point here, and click another point, it's like drawing points on a surface. Now, what I'm doing to make the curve bend is I'm just clicking and holding and you can bend a curve. So that's all I'm really doing. Um, so just draw kind of a mask where you think this jar would be. Um, and I'm just doing this really fast. If you want to be more detailed, just take time doing it. Um, the more you take time making this mask, the better it will turn out. But I'm just drawing a quick mass because, you know, I just want the particles to be seen within the jar. Not on my hand, not on my fingers. And right there, it's pretty good. Um, we can tell, though, there's this thick, there's just, you can tell where we cut it. There's just these lines in the way. What we're going to do is select the particles again. Now press M. Now M is a shortcut to bring up the mask, and it only brings up the mask path. But I want to do something like feather the mask like you would feather something in um, Photoshop. Well, press MM. Oh, look at that. Um, all the settings come up, and they have something called Mask Feather. I'm just going to drag this up. And you can tell the more I drag it up, the more feathered it gets. Um, but I'm just going to drag it up maybe to... I'm going to say 15, actually. Um, unclick, and maybe maybe a little bit more. Maybe twice as much, 30, 30. Um, and I'm just clicking inside these parameters and typing a number. So, um, there we have this awesome effect. Oh, wait, look, let's, we can see that it's two is not connected. Quick thing we can do with this is just go back to where we have it centered, which is right there. Check if the opacity, the opacity is up, and it is. Um, and let's pick whip the particles to the null object. We can pick whip it to the null object or the spore. Um, either one, your choice, because if we tell it to follow the spore, well, the spore is following the null object, so it should stay at the same place. And look at that, it does. Um, so for right now, look at that. We got some interesting, some small particles going down in there, having a party. Um, it's not as, an in as intense as my other one, and that's because I added a glow effect. So if we click this particles and go to effect, um, stylize glow, we can solo the particles again. And this just adds a little glow to it. We can bring it up, you know, bring it up or down depending on what we're looking for. Um, 
if we bring it down, it's pretty much having no choke. There's like no choke for the glow, so it's making everything really bright. I'm just going to bring it to 25, because that seems good to me. Um, the glow radius, this 